Is that when you're ready? I've already started recording. Dang, you didn't even tell me that. Action. <laughs> action. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Well, let's go. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, that retro geek. Here at you again, I've got another unboxing video. Now, this is an item for a game that came out last year, but I happened to order it uh, through Limited Run Games, and it just got here a year later. But I have here <clears throat> the Radical Edition of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. This is the uh, Switch version. Very nice. Also, very expensive. But let's open this up and see what we got in here. First off, the box was really nice. I see they did a lot of work in the art uh, to put uh, for the artwork here on the top. Uh, well, on, on the side and on the top here. So let's see what we got. <clears throat> First off, we got a nice little thank you card for Limited Run Games. They gave me a... What the hell? They gave me a Leonardo? Nobody want that. Nobody knows Michelangelo's the best turtle. Moving on. Uh, we've got here a actual strategy guide. They put that back. <laughs> <laughs> we got here an actual strategy guide they made for the game. This came courtesy of Limited Run. I think they made this themselves. I'm trying to steal the card. Please forgive my camera lady, Adele's Baker here. Uh, you all I should hit her up for her baking goods. Um... Uh, we have here a steel book for the game. This, this is the Switch version, so, you know, it was nice. They did a lot of work on it. Basically, is the um, cover art for the game here. We have a custom-made shredder figurine here. Comes complete with weapons, and it can grip them. Um, I will get shredder, but they also have other ones they made, as you can see. But I'll take it. Let's set that right there. We have here this is a miniature arcade replica. I do not know if this works. I do not know how to, oh, oh, it does work, okay. Now I just gotta figure out how to open this thing. I got my keys. And all those fills, the trusty key will get the job done. I hope. There we go. So, let's see how this sets up and works. I guess that must be charged for it. It might be dead, but we will see. And it's dead. Okay, I'm gonna charge this. But this is what it looks like. Um, I'll probably do a video of that once I actually get that charged up. Let's see what else we got in here. Um, this, oh, this is a, actually a, a retro tape cover. I guess this is supposed to be the tape cover for the game, and this is supposed to be the uh, actual VHS cover for the game as well. I think this came with the uh, collector's edition of uh, Shredder's Revenge. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, ah! This is the actual game. They actually put it in its own custom. Uh, what does this stuff say here? Uh, it actually came in its own uh, blister box. As you can see, it's got this game inside, and it's got some stuff on the back of it, as far as like the the characters and everything. It actually, looks pretty nice. They did a really nice job on this. Set that there. What else have we got in here? We have. Oh, I don't know if that still has a CD player nowadays, but we have the soundtrack. Wow. That, yeah, I know. <laughs> CD? Yes, a CD. This is, I mean, it is retro thing, so it makes sense. That's true. And it has all the soundtracks for uh, all the levels in the game on the back, which is actually pretty nice, but I don't have a CD player. My laptop doesn't even have a CD drive, so that's going to probably stay wrapped up. Uh, let's see what we got here. This looks to be a poster. If I can get it open. Oh, shit. There we go. Alright, yep, double sided poster. I think this is actually what is on the box. Oh, that's definitely retro. A double sided totally. poster? Yeah. So we've got this. This is pretty much the box art here on this side. Yeah. And then this is the cover art for the game here on the back, which is actually pretty nice. Especially to have a double sided poster. I didn't even know they still made those. They don't. Exactly. Because it's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's we'll stuff this right here. Uh, okay, there's just some more uh, cardboard. 
uh, and we have here is this a shadow box art. Oh, that's the thing I made you not buy. Yes, it is the thing you made me not buy at Dragon Con. You're welcome. But I still do want that. But this is actually pretty cool. Whoops. Uh, we'll stand that up right there. Okay, that actually looks pretty cool. I was pretty sure there was something else that's supposed to be included in here, and it's not. Where the hell is my personal damn piece of coupon at? Uh-oh. Let me make sure that ain't falling in somewhere else. Or else we're going to have a, I mean, it's just one item, but still. Yep, nothing in there. Nothing in there. And nothing here. They really did not give me the personal pan piece of coupon. That's kind of bogus. Which would have been very retro. But, yes, it is not in what here. What was it for? What restaurant? Pizza Hut, of course. <laughs> oh. Call them and complain. Yeah. I'm tearing it up. <laughs> Don't you mean Kyle? But Kevin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But that's a story for another day. But all in all, though, for what, it, for what it is, this is actually pretty nice. Needless to say, I definitely am feeling the shadow box, right? I'm probably going to put Hank, uh, get get this set up as soon as I get back to my house. But all in all, if, for what it was, it's actually really nice. I ordered one for the Contra Anniversary Collection, and when that gets here, we'll have that to be unboxed as well. But until next time, uh, thank you for checking the video out. Please like, follow, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you all next time.